Good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, our IoT smart security system. My name is Mina, Mitchell, Omar, Kane, Michael, and I also have Carlos. He's out of country for uh, family reasons. Um, three of our group worked on the hardware. Me, Kane, and Michael. Um, Mitchell, Omar, and Carlos worked on the software group. And Mitchell right here will tell you all the details about our project. Yes, so we're, uh, we're developing a closed loop security system. We have three cameras that will be powered over the ethernet. Uh, we're trying to place the cameras at the front of the house, uh, somewhere inside the house, and then in the back of the house. Uh, these cameras will be sending live feed to the Jetson uh, TX2, and where the Jetson TX2 will be performing object detection and face recognition. So uh, for the face recognition, we want to have every family member, recognize every family member in the household. And for the object detection, we're using this, uh, we're using a pre-trained module so we're using this uh, open source uh, data set called COCO, uh, Common Objects in Context, uh, which has like uh, 330K images, and uh, it has like uh, 82 uh, subgroups, and then it has five captions uh, per picture. Uh, for the face recognition, we're also gonna use another uh, pre-trained data set that will have uh, over 10,000 10, face pictures, uh, but for the family houses, we're gonna, use, uh, we're gonna have to train our own module uh, so we can recognize as uh, recognized family members. And the security system will also have a backup battery. Uh, so in case there's a power outage, it should uh, it should be able to still be up running for at least three hours, um, depending on how heavy uh, you know it's using the usage. And the cameras that we'll be using uh, will they have a hundred they'll have a hundred feet range, so they will be able to see uh, objects or a person within a hundred foot range of the camera. That's it. Any questions? So, like, you've got a you know, on your your schematics diagram. You got a babysitter. Can you temporarily program it so that you get your family members, and then if somebody's going to be taking care of the house while you're gone or whatever, you could program that image as an acceptable person for two weeks or whatever. I mean, can you put temporary? Temporary uh, friendlies in there yeah. is probably the way to say Temporary it. friendlies, yes. Yeah, related to his question, uh, how do you tr exactly train? Are you giving it a static image or, or I have to be in front of the camera and record So it? we're, uh, the data set is going to have 300, we're going to try to upload 300 pictures. The, uh, so for the R group, it would be 50 pictures per person. So we're using like CNN, uh, convolutional ne neural network. So like the way that works is uh, it's just looking for features, for features on the, on the pictures and it tries to match it to a, uh, whatever person that the camera so, sees. So how long would it take to train somebody? Like I said, if somebody's coming over, uh, you got a friend coming over to watch your place for two <coughs> weeks, but you don't want them as a permanent as fixture permanent reason, on there. Yeah. yeah. How long would it take to train it? So uh, really it just is because of how many uh, images, how accurate you want it. Uh, with with 50, around 50 images of one person, we can get up to uh, like 60% accuracy. So it just, it, not too sure on how long it's gonna, it would take to uh, train it to recognize uh, a new person, but uh, it would say maybe at most one day. Okay, so take, so it, it would, yeah, it would take some. It's almost like you have to build yeah. up a library for each person on yeah. these systems, but then maybe you can transfer that library to another, <coughs> another system. Yeah, so we do have to have a build a library, which uh, we're actually using TensorFlow uh, <coughs> using their library to uh, do all the machine learning and then. Uh, a lot of the, there's already a lot of pre-trained modules. The only real training that we have to do is when uh, we have to upload pictures of individual uh, members of the family. Uh, quick question: Is this assumed to be a uh, standalone system? Is it connected to the internet type of deal? Is it assuming that you're going to have like a centralized guy monitoring? A system yeah, so it will be connected to the internet because it will have local and uh, cloud storage, and it will also have a lot of notification system. So it will. Uh, so whenever there is, so whenever there's like a family member at the front door, it'll be like so and so is at the front door, or uh, there's you know unknown person at the front door or the back door, or whatever it is. Um, also, uh, we'll send the uh, messages. Um, if like a package is dropped off, or, like an unknown object, maybe you don't some, you know, someone wants to like drop like a stink bomb or something or something, something. and uh, you don't you know you don't want to go out there and look at it or whatever. So what with your with your facial recognition? 
So I grew a nice beard like you guys, you know. Can, would it still pick me up, or would it, or is, is, it, yeah. is it just based on dimensions? So it, it goes at noses, mouth, and eyes. Okay. Yeah. So All right. It so facial the, hair doesn't, or, yeah. or hair on your head doesn't really affect yeah, it. Yeah, doesn't really structure. affect it. And okay. It, and it looks like, because you know how the depth of your face also has a, a thing, so the lighting, and it looks at, uh, because the way it works, it looks at pixels. Okay. So the image is like a, like a it's a 2D array. So if you think of a checkerboard. Okay. So then it looks at certain parts of it, features of it, and it tries to match it up. And it says, well, then, you know, this is, you know, whatever chance it is that is this person. So if you have a, a person that you want to train for, you set them in front of the camera and they turn their head different ways, and can you take 50 shots <coughs> while they're sitting there and then train on that, or do you have to do it over a long length of time? Can you just simply? Uh, there is video There is video training that you could do. So it could, it could uh, go based off video. Uh, so you can get it like the whole, the so you whole tell them, face. Stand in front of the camera, turn your head around, look up and down, and they take a video of that. You should be able to train off of that. Yes. Okay. Fucking security for your soft. I never, I never mentioned it, but I mean, is security being assumed and, and taken into account for all these different things? Because you're going on the internet, you're yeah. taking in a security system. So the software, software. The application that we use, that we're using for the notification is highly encrypted. Uh, nobody actually, no, nobody has uh, access to the encryption key other than the person uh, isn't it so like they're really secure about it um, that's what they're known for is their encryption and they're not um, what's called they're not so the way they operate is uh, through I guess like uh, sponsors and stuff they don't uh, they're not like company based like big company based all right let's thank the team